Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to take another look at the smoke. We're going to kind of step through all these little pieces in here to try and make sense of it. So the, the one thing that's important, though, is when you use these smoke flows, like here, this is headers of the flow for the smoke, the shape of it makes a big difference. All right, so you notice the difference when we did the cube versus the cylinder. When you run the cylinder in here, this is, oh, this is, oh, this is the lesson. I'm going to have to change this so you see the lesson. All right, so when I do the cylinder in here, it... On the previous lesson, if you do it right, it looks more like a mushroom cloud if you do it just right, like that when it first starts, versus a cube doesn't quite work. So that makes a difference. But the speed at which this smoke comes out is pretty fast, right? So the processors are pretty quick these days. But if you don't want it that fast, in an earlier lesson I showed you, instead of emitting it from the mesh, you could emit it from a particle system, and then you could control the speed at which the particles are going up. So that can be a pretty nice effect because then it could go up and do other things and then but one of the ways is this temperature difference over here and that's what we're going to focus on here notice the temperature difference to the ambient temperature so if I just click this to try and drop it you're going to see nothing really happens like nothing's working but it is working let me see if I can adjust it this way no you still can't see it it's because it's just changing it in small amounts if I keep clicking it eventually you'll see it drop down to 0.9 and down to 0.8 and something like that. Let's, but let's drop it. Let's just manually adjust it to say 0.2 like this. And then when I run the animation, um, and if you have that issue where you can't see the smoke, just click your domain. I'll start from the beginning and then you see it's a slower smoke flow. In fact, if you don't believe it, watch this even more. We'll get it again and we'll go down to 0.1. It's obviously not linear. Like that. And you wouldn't even see it won't even go all the way up because it's not even reaching that number of frames. So that's one way to do it. And this is a cool way to adjust things is through temperatures. But there's advantages also to do it in particle systems because you can use collision objects. And collision objects are a blast because then you can control the direction and the shape of your smoke. And we'll be doing that in... Uh, some lessons coming up. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.